I'm Adam Miller, founder and owner of Rebel Bikes. Everything. The rocks, the sky, biking. They said it. <laughs> they said it. <laughs> it super cool. My wife, Ashley Kornblatt, and, and myself started out her bike in 2010. Um, okay, right down here. Ah, should I just do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm committing. Oh, am I committing though? Yes. I'm What's up guys? We're Hannah and Mo and we love to adventure. We live in a van full time, traveling the world and riding awesome trails with friends. In our previous video, we spent some time in one of our favorite places in Utah, Salt Lake City. And after some time with some rad company and awesome trails, we are in Moab for one of the best bike festivals out there, Outer Bike. We also got to ride one of the hardest trails in Moab. Will we survive? This is Moab, Utah. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got Hannah back there. We're actually heading to a mountain bike festival. That one right there. We're in the overflow parking trying to figure out how to get there first. If you guys have never heard of Outer Bike, it's probably one of the coolest mountain bike festivals out there because it's got a definitely an emphasis on demoing bikes. If you want to come out, test some bikes, ride awesome trails in Moab, have some amazing food, Outer Bike is definitely the festival to go to. We're going to take you guys along so you guys can get a firsthand experience of how it is at this festival. Do some riding, do some eating, and do some talking talking to everyone out here. Have a great time. It feels very dry, very windy, very hot, but the riding here is totally worth it. It's the most amazing riding you probably will ever see in your life. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, really thankful to be here. Also, Outer Bike has the best lunch ever. So I'm kind of counting down the time till it turns like noon, because then that's when lunch starts. I think Hannah is most excited for the food here. However, the thing that we have to do right now is figure out how to get there. I think this path will take us there. My name's Mark Sevenoff. My friends call me Sevi is my nickname. My wife, Ashley Kornblatt and, and myself started out her bike in 2010. It was really her idea and kind of a twist on uh, words. Interbike used to be our big industry trade show in Vegas that we all went to. And then uh, Outer Bike, we decided to just invite everyone instead of having to be like an industry insider. Back then it was like, I was doing like 26, 29er shootouts and there were maybe dropper posts, but they weren't very good. Um, and there were still front derailleurs. And now you walk around and I don't think I've seen a front derailleur here. We gotta get our tickets, so get them right here. Thanks so much. Thank you. What makes Moab so special? Uh, for me, Moab is a spot that really got me into riding, and I used to come and ride Slick Rock and Bartlett Wash, and back in the day when they had the Moab Rim. Look around, it's 85 degrees and sunny in the desert, the best trails of all time. You can ride mountain bikes on all the most awesome trade. I've been coming here since I was a kid. Everything. The rocks, the sky, biking. They said it. <laughs> they said it. <laughs> what makes Moab so special? Oh man, uh, you name it. I mean, first and foremost for me, it's the views. Uh, honestly, second to that is the riding. Uh, but everywhere you ride, it's just the most beautiful place you've ever been. You know, it's just being able to try so many bikes. There are so many brands making really cool stuff out there and just to get to feel the nuances as well as get a feel for the ethos of each brand. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm with Outside, Outside Plus, and we got Trail Forks part of our team over here. So we're not demoing bikes, we're just hanging out. We're doing a big giveaway. Hey, I'm Lance Canfield. We're here at the Canfield booth at, at Outer Bike Moab, and I uh, wanted to show you a couple of my bikes. Over here we have our Tilt. It's a 138 rear, 140 front trail bike, 29er. Uh, this is the Lithium, 163 travel in the rear and 170 in the front. I'm Adam Miller, founder and owner of Rebel Bikes. Uh, we are a four and a half year old bike brand based in Carbondale, Colorado. We're out here in Moab, Utah, Outer Bike. Uh, we're best known for our line of carbon full suspension mountain bikes. We have uh, our Ranger, 115 millimeter travel sort of down country bike. What's up? We're from Pit Viper, here at Outer Bike, selling trades. Having a good out. time. They're the sunglasses that sunglasses could wear if sunglasses could wear sunglasses. Yo, Patrick from Propane here. Demoing some bikes this weekend. We got the Tai, uh, the Hugene, and a couple spin drifts. Uh, hey guys, Ian here with Fazari, uh, running out at the uh, Moab Outer Bike, showcasing some of our new LaSalle Peak and the Elite build that Mo's been riding and uh, having a great time sending people out on. Captain Ahab, Hayamasa. One of the best parts of Outer Bike is the awesome food, and after a hearty lunch and some tailwind, we headed to ride one of the hardest trails in Moab.
You know what time it is. It's time to ride bikes out here in Moab. So for Outer Bike, they have shuttles that will take you to the trails. They took people here yesterday, but we want to really show you guys this trail out here in Moab. We're actually going to do Jackson Trail, which is essentially like Captain Ahab, just with a little bit more exposure down Jackson and show you guys how the riding is. All right, so we're saying bye to the van. If you want to ride Jackson Trail, it's best to start at the first parking lot, not the Ahab parking lot. Very windy, so hopefully we don't fly off the trail today. Yeah. This is the parking lot you would park in for Ahab, but yeah. we're down there, we're headed up, going to High Mesa. High Mesa, hey Mesa. Little High Mesa connector. Once again, you guys, I don't know how to properly pronounce it. Let us know in the comment section, but we're gonna take this to the full climb and then branch off to Jackson. So I feel like the perfect warm up just to kind of get your flow sensories going. Excited for the day. It's nice and slow that way. You can get all the way up here. Actually, I take this high line. Sick. Look how cool this is. No, it's super cool. Okay, a couple of sections on this climb. You really want to be careful with your pedal strokes. But look at that view, guys. Getting close, we're gonna go around there too. Look at this, you guys. This, I think, is one of the best views in Moab. Insane. What's up, guys? Just want to take a quick second and thank today's video sponsor, and that is Jackery. Now, you guys know us, and you know we love power. Living in a van full time while working on the road had us exploring every option at having extra power to charge our gear, and we could not have been more stoked when Jackery sent over their Explorer 300 plus power station to test out. This thing is perfect because we know so many of you guys are going to be stoked on the size of the 300 plus. Coming in at a little over eight pounds and being so small and compact, this power station is the perfect accessory to any weekend adventure, allowing you to just throw it in your bag and head into nature. Putting out 300 watts of power this thing can charge your phone 13 times over or run an outdoor speaker for 18 hours it's durable and shockproof making it perfect for any adventures it has usb usb c as well as a 120 volt outlet and you can charge this thing while driving or via a wall outlet or via solar and talking about solar the cool thing about this unit is it actually comes with a little 40 watt panel and that thing is so awesome all for under 300 dollars and yes that is the unit as well as these solar panels which is insane it charges up super fast and is very reliable with a life expectancy of about 3,000 charge cycles before only being at about 80% battery capacity. The best thing about this thing is definitely the size. We know so many people out there that want to go on that weekend trip and might not need a huge heavy power station. That's why the Jackery Explorer 300 Plus is so awesome. Not only do you have the ability to charge all of your gear, but it's not taking up space and you're not breaking your back just to carry it around. Simply throw it in your bag or car and hit the road knowing you have the power you need to keep the fun going. And the best part is now you can enjoy Jackery's Black Friday offer of up to 50% off Jackery solar generators and portable power stations from November 3rd to the 27th. You can also subscribe to Jackery's Black Friday live stream on their official store November 27th for a shot of winning $50,000 in giveaway. Links to everything gonna be in the description of this video. Thank you Jackery for sponsoring this video and with that being said let's get back to the adventure. Woo. And not die here. Nice. Nice and chunky. Good little warm-up for what's to come. <laughs> nice. Have a good one. Gotta love a Moab traffic jam. And we're just gonna ride down here. A couple of good steps. Nice. Over the rocks. Yeah. We finally made it to Jackson Trail. Honestly, you guys, Captain Ahab was my favorite trail up until like a couple of visits ago when we came here on Rose's Trail for the first time. Been riding this a ton. This is my new favorite trail out here in Moab. Jackson Trail. We're stoked. I'm wearing the newest uh, party shirt camera here. You can't see the nice. camera, but it's integrated into the label. And I'm going to be filming the entire way down with Mo and Hannah. I'm super stoked to ride this trail with them. And you're, what bike are you on? I'm on the Fazari uh, LaSalle Peak here, the long travel. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, this is, <laughs> this, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> this is definitely the cross country bike. Have you ever fallen off a cliff before? No. no. Not planning on it. It's the first time for everything. Yeah, it's super easy. Dangerous cliff edges, technical average grade fourteen percent. So it should be good. Fourteen percent. It could be sixty nine percent. So I think we're. I yeah. think we're in the clear. It's a, <laughs> it's a green trail for sure. <laughs> Not fall off a cliff today. It's always a good day when you don't fall off a cliff. I mean, I guess it could be a good day if you do fall off a cliff, but chances are <laughs> you're better off not doing that. I personally think. Skill level wise, this is definitely above Ahab. The exposure, it really is what kicks it up a notch. But man, the views are gonna be pretty insane. You guys are gonna see. 
I just love how flowy this trail is. Okay, so now is when some of the exposure starts. So it's gonna be fun, guys. <laughs> Woo. And if you guys couldn't tell, that was a nervous laugh. <laughs> Sick. Oh. oh man, up and over, coming on through. Look how cool this little cave section is. And then you can really see that river. Oh man, that Colorado River looks so cool. Hannah leading the way now. Nice, Hannah. So sick. Nice, Kook. Oh, she's crushing it. Sick, Hannah. So good. You guys, this honestly, I feel like the cliff just gives a little bit more of an adrenaline rush. And oh, this is where I die for sure. Oh my God. Nice. Oh man. Okay. Nice and chunky here. We're gonna try and take it easy. Oh. Oh, you don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Sick. Take this little outside line on that cliff edge. Holes. <laughs> Sketchy. <laughs> okay. Right down here. Oh, this is going to get a little sketchy, you guys, I think. Oh, you guys are probably like, Mo, this whole thing is sketchy. <laughs> um, okay. Right down here. Nice. Sick. Made it to here. What do I do here, though? I don't remember. Right down here. Ah, should I just do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm committing. Oh, am I committing, though? Yes. I'm doing it. Oh, my God, I did it. That was the first time I ever doing that section, guys. What do I do here? Let's save this till next time. I have one, one at a time. I did that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! That was scary. This is where I kind of have some questions. What do I do here? This is the furthest I've gotten. Oh, I guess if I just come outside. Oh yeah, I think we got this, guys. So, I don't know if this is the smartest, but I really want to try and link this whole thing together. We'll see. I've never done that bottom section where Calvin's standing. So, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What happens if it kills you? <laughs> All right. Dropping. Okay. Right down here. Nice. Okay. Then try to make it into the chute. Sweet. Okay. I'm not dead yet. This corner looks so dicey with that cliff. Yes, finally, finally got it clean all the way. My God, oh. thanks so much, guys. So there's a couple of cool alternate lines here. Oh, that you don't want to miss. Nice. What do you think of this trail, dude? So sick. Nice. And so you work at Pit Viper. I do. I work in accounting. Nice. <laughs> so how is it? What's an accountant's take on this trail? Uh, count and sick is uh, lots of risk, but high reward. So sick. <laughs> potential payoffs. <laughs> How was I'm it? Good. I'm good. <laughs> nice. I'm full here. <laughs> oh no. I think Handy's ready for lunch. Yeah, <laughs>